Man? Is your best friend? You never f <laughs> well, How am I gonna keep leading him on like this? <laughs> you pay this whole bill? Don't pay the whole bill. You split it as friends. As friends, as friends, remember! Everybody say, if you pay for the bill, he's the what? <laughs> they said it, not me. You want him? Yeah, you want him? You got it, huh? Hey, sit next to her. Come sit next to her. Empty chair in here. Hey, and, hey, 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 if she's your best friend, she'll understand. Sit right here. Sit down right there, my God! Oh! Enjoy your life, man. Will your best friend's happy? You're not happy? Here's your crown, King. You can't be paying no girls for companionship if you want that girl as your girlfriend. I'd rather a girl tell me she don't want to be with me than to sit around acting like I'm her friend watching her sleep with other dudes. I'm sorry, but sitting around wasting your time and money paying for stuff acting like a boyfriend without getting boyfriend privileges is crazy. I'm loving this gender equality stuff. Look, sister's outside shoveling that driveway, and I'm in the kitchen making waffles. Material girl. Oh, I'm beating your ass. Yo, Tiana. Why are you saying it like you know me? I don't like that. Okay, my bad. <laughs> What's good? <laughs> like, I was trying to be nice. I, apparently, me being nice is bad, so what's good? <laughs> no, he did Oh, no, you did Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> He's funny. You ain't. Okay. Yeah, okay. I did. No crumbs left, bitch. Be cold. It's crazy how she responded better to the B word than her own name. Sometimes when a girl get disrespectful, you gotta match that energy. As long as you do it in a funny and clever way. Kinda has to be sarcastic. To be honest, you gotta be more playful than disrespectful. All right. I got a question to ask because I keep seeing this all over TikTok and I need to see if you dumb or not. Okay. <laughs> if seven plus six is 12, what is six plus seven? Wait, what? Who who said who said seven plus six is twelve? What do you mean? Am I dumb? I Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. Think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Are you? How am I dumb? You said if seven plus six is twelve. Yes. What is six plus seven? <gasps> Answer. Are you serious? Oh man! You, you, we can't you, even post this. You put this, this camera in front of me. You just we can't even post this. You don't know. We definitely can't math. post this. Seven plus six is thirteen. This is exactly why you be spending so much at Target. You don't even know how much you really spend it. Damn. <laughs> Ooh. You're pretty. You're amazing. I swear to God, you're so pretty. I'm transsexual. Got him. We fucking got him. Am I Gato? Am I Gato for that? Am I Gato for that? How I'm posting no. now, bro? Oh. He's a meat stretcher. He'll stretch your meat. Okay. Gotcha. Hey, Sean, look at him over there touching on some other female. Are you like, what? Slap this, what? What is a poly relationship? What is, what no, is Olivia, you too young to even know what a poly relationship is. You need to go back to school and do something. So she's too young to know what a poly relationship is, but you can be a mother. Oh! <laughs> you ate that shit up. Hey, I'm out of Wait, girl, where'd she go? I'm tired of your presence. Dismissed. Now, I'm not really a poly relationship kind of guy. One woman is enough headache for me. But this is the kind of humor you gotta respond with. It's so clever and funny, she couldn't even be mad. Proceed to the root. Hey, 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 hey. Huh? Sorry, sorry. Are you the police? What's the problem? Are you Canadian police? We what? No, ma'am. We just wanted to see what our stuff would look like inside this house and 
once we see, we're going to move it back to our place. We live in a world where you can't tell your girl to cover her asshole when she's out there on a surfboard. That's abusive. To be like, yo, cover your asshole when you're surfing with men. That's abuse. That's toxic. We didn't. We say it's not abuse. It's toxic. You say it's That's toxic. toxic. Yeah. You gay. <laughs> if you're a man and you say any other man's toxic, you gay. <laughs> you gay. You gay. You the you the type. You gay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. If Usher want to sing to your girl, Ooh. and you if Usher want to sing to your girl, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. just singing, yeah. it's just singing. Yeah. You cool with that? Just singing, yeah. S they first is singing, then then you add them 22. You know what I mean? like, because men understand that they are the ones that win with marriage. They get free late. All right, here we go, man. Um, for greater context, man, y'all go back and check out that video. Man, she say so much disrespectful stuff about men in there, it ain't funny. But I'm just going to go off on a few points. Um, I hate that they try to make us out as men like we all these lazy bums who can't do nothing for themselves. I done told y'all in previous videos, the main thing my wife need to do nice, do for me is be nice and open her leg, take her clothes off. And I'm being honest. I do everything for me. I cook, I coach the kids. She talking about we expect them to work 40 hours and then cook and do everything. Where are these men at, bro? Like, why in the hell do I get on here and everybody be trying to make it seem like every man they get is some helpless ass toddler? Then where y'all finding these dudes at? I ain't never had to put none in her name. I ain't never been on the passenger side of her ride. I ain't never lived with no woman. None of that. I've been a boss since I was 17. I don't know where y'all meet these dudes at. I ain't never needed no help. Where y'all meeting these men who can't do nothing on their own at? But she just said, men are the only ones that benefit from marriage because we get free label. My wife get free label too because she ain't shoveling in no snow. She ain't fixing on her car. She ain't doing none of the stuff that got to be done. When it's time for an oil change, when her brake lights go out, when all that, that's me to have to get out there and fix that. She don't do that. That's free label for her too. Not only that, man, we already know statistically you lying. Now, alimony is paid like 90% of women. Most custody go to women, and most men get absolutely financially ruined in divorce. So why do you get on here and make this video knowing damn well hell you lying through your teeth? Then she going to tell them, make sure you sleep with all the little sassy dudes you want to. Once again, as I keep telling y'all, these is the problems in our community. The only thing you promoting is going out here being a woe. Let's be a 304. I don't know why, you know, she trying to shoot the video like, you know, she in the back of her little big house or whatever. I don't know why people think because they so-called got a dollar that they can get on here and give advice to average regular people. For regular people, it might take a two income household. Stop trying to take shots on every man who can't do everything by himself. And kudos to all my guys that can and all the guys who can pay the majority. All of us ain't that lucky. I can do things some other brothers can't do. I ain't going to look down on that man, though. I understand our opportunities have been different. That don't mean he ain't working hard, and that don't mean he ain't going to go there. I just don't understand why it's always constant to get out here and disrespect us, like the Barbie movie, the new Snow White. What are we doing? I'm finna speak from my heart right now. If y'all hate men so much, go build your own damn society. If y'all hate us so much and we so useless, you know the thing that's funny that I find funny about all this, though? Now that we done built the world, now that we done built these platforms, that y'all get on to disrespect us on every day. You don't need us now that everything's built and it's comfortable. Well, if y'all so damn dope, y'all doing so great without us, hey, we ain't trying to argue with you. Go do you. But I'm telling y'all right now, nobody need to be listening to A.T. Sheila. Got almost 60,000 views. She didn't spit no game. She said three things. Go bust it open, go be a woe, and end up dying by yourself. All good with your mom if you don't like what I said.
That's a woman that's never felt the love of a man talking to other women that have picked the wrong men. Example of men I've seen in my life woke up at 5 a.m. to go provide for their family. Their leadership was more of a responsibility than it was a privilege. When there was only one blanket in the house, they were the one that went to sleep cold. That's the type of men I grew around with. And for you to sit there and throw their sacrifice back in their face and act like they only benefit from privileges, I can tell you've never seen the love of a man. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or a L and give me the HBO special that's a help a brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.